The Siege of the Mirror is making waves in the vintage community with multiple 5-0s in the first few days of the new league. I'm going to try a new way to build it tonight. We got to try out the scam package. Can we make a mono black splashing blue power storm beseech scam hybrid work? I think so. Let's give it a try. Okay, welcome back, Vintage Gamers. More Beseech the Mirror action in Vintage. This card is definitely powerful. Uh, will it live up to the hype? Restriction worthy? We'll have to uh, play through some more leagues to find out. Uh, today I have a not a Force of Will deck. This is going to be, you know, mono black, scam almost. Uh, it's going to be very much uh, black splashing the blue power inside of a troll grief reanimate uh package i do think that troll grief reanimate as a 12 card package allows these non-forceable decks to get close to the bar you're looking at in terms of uh vintage interaction and playability a lot of times especially if you are uh, a powerful wizard who's winning the dice roll doing something like casting grief reanimate on turn one is really going to strip apart an opponent's hand uh, and leave them with a lot less options. And then, of course, having a free interactive spell to try to resolve your turn one Beseech the Mirror, turn two Beseech the Mirror, uh, can be quite powerful. So we're going to take the grief uh, package and we're going to play a Beseech the Mirror, you know, Dark Ritual uh, combo deck with Urza Saga, Vault of Whispers, uh, tons and tons of artifacts. Uh, to search for and of course the main card we are going to be looking to cast is mostly going to be Yagmas will Yagmas will is uh I, I think the most powerful card with beseech the mirror especially because uh beseech the mirrors can be chained so if you cast a beseech the mirror with bargain you can get another beseech the mirror and cast it with bargain as many times as you have bargain uh, uh artifacts and so you get your storm count up really quickly so then when you Yagmas will you replay all of those artifacts that you sacrifice they're going to make you mana again and then you're going to cast a very easy tendrils of agony uh, there are other things that you can sometimes get with Beseech. Uh, if you have two artifacts in play, sometimes it's simply easy enough to just get a Tinker uh, and sacrifice two artifacts to Beseech with Bargain and Tinker with Tinker Bargain uh, and put a Bolus of Citadel in play. Bolus of Citadel in play is usually going to win the game, even if your deck is not particularly well suited to playing Bolus of Citadel. Our deck is, you know, not the best Bolus of Citadel deck you've ever seen, but it has lots of uh, tutors in it, which make it pretty easy to tendrils and kill your opponent. You have, uh, you know, a turn one play in Beseech for Necropotence if you need to just, uh, you know, utilize your your fast mana and refill your hand. Uh, and then, of course, you have things like Ancestral and Time Walk are always, like, decent enough tutor targets in themselves. Uh, anything interesting in this deck? Uh, I am playing, of course, Urza Saga, uh, and this time even playing Bolt of Whispers. Having enough things to bargain for is especially important in this deck, which is more, you know, based on Stormkill. Uh, and, and I think Urza Saga, uh, both being a bargainable uh, artifact and an artifact that finds Black Lotus to allow you to cast another Beseech the Mirror or get a good Yagmas Will is uh, pretty important. So um, I have a Sensei Stop in here just because you can find it off of Urza Saga and it's going to be good with help our Citadel become uh, more uh, efficient. And then I have Volt Key as an additional win con. I think if you're playing Urza Saga, you should be playing Volt, uh, Volt Key, especially because it's an extra, you know, things you can bargain as well. And then in some of our flex slots, I'm currently playing, I think that I would say if if the mana base is built correctly, which it's not, you know, guaranteed to be built correctly, I would say this deck has four flex slots. And inside of these four flex slots, you can play a variety of things. Things like Thoughtseize, Duress, Unmask, um, Orcish Bowmaster. Here I'm going to do a split between Orcish Bowmaster and Deadly Dispute. I think it's nice to have uh, uh, some blockers and some way to remove some creatures. Uh, also, an army token is actually something you can bargain with. A token is one of the bargainable bull permanents. Uh, and Deadly Dispute is just an interesting way to generate uh, some card advantage in a, in a typically mono black shell. We can draw two cards with this. We can sack, uh, you know, extra opals. Uh, you can also turn things into treasures, which you can cast your time walk, ancestral, and tinker with. Currently. We have uh, Troll of Kazadoom does find Underground Sea. Urza Saga, if it gets off Suspend, will, you know, find uh, Mox Sapphire, Mox Opal, Lotus Petal, or Black Lotus. So we have, like, some ways to cast these uh, blue power, but not, you know, super worthy. Um, sideboard, I just have some of your normal uh, suspects. I have Leyline of the Voids. I have Pith and Needle and Tabernacle for Dredge. I have Cut Downs, Dismembers, and Portal to Phyrexia for Mono White. Uh, Sphinx for Dredge. Uh, Shieldred for, you know, kind of a, a variety of different uh, decks that draw cards. 
uh, opposition agent for other tutoring decks, and then uh, a couple mind break traps because <laughs> I played a league today and Maharu had my deck across the table and she put in a bunch of mind break traps in the sideboard and it really, really made my day stink. <laughs> Beseech the Mirror being uh, two separate spells makes the mind break trap online quite, quite active and uh, problematic. So. Uh, with everybody trying out the new and powerful cards, we're going to play some Mind Break Traps in our sideboard for this Vintage League. Uh, I, I, like I said, I played a league with this, and I was very, very happy with the deck. I think I went 4-1 uh, losing to Jewel, and I beat some very powerful Wizards along the way. This deck felt like smooth and clean. Let's see if it can do the same thing for us in this Vintage League tonight. Are you interested in weekly vintage metagame recommendations? Do you want to see your deck list played on my channel? Or maybe you are just looking for the best way to support my vintage content. Make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. Let's battle. Okay, round one with our scam deck. Let's see what we can do. What do we have? We've got a Grief, but we don't have the ability to make black mana because of our Urza Saga. Uh, is this hand good enough without the ability to make black mana? So if we go, say, Grief Pitch Bowmaster on turn one, see what they do. Saga comes off. Say, they, say we miss for a black mana. This might still just be enough. I kind of want to put this hand back and try to find something a little bit more coherent. Obviously, having Opal with no Mox in and Saga with no Black Source makes the rest of this hand just a little underwhelming. I'm going to put this back and try for a little something better. Uh, this hand has three Trolls, two Opals, a Necro, and a Time Walk. I can't say that this is better. This is worse. Let's try again. Um, Man, these hands have been rough. Uh, we're going to keep this one. And... I think I just like I just like this. And we'll just try to value out of town here. Not a great hand. Not a great hand at all. Uh, but opponent is also on a mold of five. So what I, what I plan to do here is go underground sea, emerald go. On their turn, I'm going to deadly dispute, draw two and make a treasure. Uh, and then if we don't get like, to do anything powerful, we can just cycle this troll and make sure we hit our land drops. And if we do draw something powerful, we can we can proceed with that kind of game plan by keeping this Dark Ritual. So that's my plan. I'm not sure that this plan is going to be good enough to win a game of Vintage, but we really definitely did not uh, have the best mulligans here. It's obviously not amazing for us to take our Emerald and turn it into a treasure, but we're mono black, so... He says with an underground sea in play. It's like it's like this is like casting ancestral in their upkeep, right? Right. All right. So this is actually a quite a nice pickup here. We actually found a beseech the mirror and a grief, uh, which will give us a lot of options come turn two. Currently, we don't have a lot of artifacts in play to cast uh, and use for beseech. But if we were to draw, say, like an Urza Saga, or even just any color, any kind of Moxin, uh, we could very easily beseech here and look for lethal. Here's a swamp, so maybe opponent is playing a similar deck. Not very many basic swamp decks in Vintage. Gonna pass the turn. Let's see what we draw. It's definitely gonna depend a lot on what we draw here, how we wanna play out this turn. Soul Ring, interesting. Okay, so we can uh, go for Grief, uh, pitching Troll of Kazadoom, and then play Soul Ring off of Underground Sea, Dark Ritual off of Treasure Token, and go for a Beseech Kill. Uh, is this a actually a lethal Beseech Kill? Uh... It should be pretty close. I don't really know if I'm going to do the math out, though. Let's see. One, two, three. Beseech for Yogwill. Sorry, Beseech. Yeah, Beseech for Yogwill. Four, five, six. It's one. I feel like it's got to be pretty close, so I'm going to give it a shot. If it's not close, it's because I messed up. Because I think this should be 10 Storm. So let's see what our opponent's working with here. Opponent has a Vampiric Tutor, I assume. Oh, they have Entomb. Interesting. So some kind of Reanimator deck. That's exciting. You don't see that very much in Vintage. Reanimator gets kind of pushed out by the fact that, you know, Bizarre Baghdad exists. And, like, requires a bunch of uh, hate. If we did have Reanimate here, we could Reanimate their Atraxa, which is kind of fun. We could technically Reanimate their Atraxa with this Beseech the Mirror if we don't find a lethal uh, Storm kill. So let's see what they're in their hand first, and then we'll try to go from there. So they have a Grief, an Anime Dead, and a Careful Study, and an Island. So I'm just going to take the Anime Dead, though it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, and then I just need to do some st some some storm counting here. So I have a storm. They actually upped my storm count with this in tomb. So I have a storm count of two, a storm count of three, a storm count of four, a storm count of five, a storm count of six, a storm count of seven, eight. Oh, but I don't have another way to get another black source. Uh, no, no, I have. I yeah, I don't have another way to get another black source. Wait, what about my dispute? No, because I have Soul Ring and then Dark Ritual, and I have to use all of my black mana, and I have no black mana in my Moxen. So I don't think I have a lethal Yogmoth's will. Uh, the other thing we can look at is Tinker, but we actually don't have a second artifact to Tinker with, so we can't Tinker. So I actually think I might just Beseech for a Reanimate and Reanimate their Atraxa. I wonder if I should have taken not animate dead if that was the case. I'm not seeing a better beseech line than reanimate right now. I mean, we could go a necropotence and refill our hand, of course. If this was a fetch land, which obviously there's no fetch lands in our deck, then we could replay a land out of our yard. I think the problem is. The problem is, I used grief, I used the troll. Because if I had cycle... No, the troll was cycling. I could have cycled the troll off of my extra soul ring mana, which would have given me an extra black source. So if I hadn't griefed... I, mean, I can't not grief, though. Like, they could easily have force of will. All right, so I am not seeing it. Of course, I could be missing it. These are, there's a lot of things that I've learned with Beseech the Mirror and playing, for, playing with the card in just two days is that there's just a lot of play patterns that I'm not familiar with and I have to do some learning on the fly. So I'm going to bargain this soul ring and we'll take another quick check of our graveyard and our in our library when we when we search here. But I'm not seeing any way to make black mana. So if I were to go for Yogwell, I won't be able to cast any of this stuff that I need to cast. Um so and I can't tinker because I don't have an artifact in play. So yeah, I'm just gonna go with reanimate. And I'm gonna cast reanimate on this Atraxa. Hopefully that will refill fill our hand to a pretty significant degree. We can even make a land drop this turn, so there's a lot of nice things we can do. Opponent does not want to give me the privilege of putting their tracks into play, which I guess is fair. So if my opponent is going to be on, um, I believe they're on a reanimator deck with show and tells. Uh, we're still going to bring in uh, anti-reanimator cards with Leyline. Uh, I think Shieldred looks reasonable here. I think Opposition Agent looks reasonable here. Um, I don't think I need a Portal or anything, or a Needle. I don't think they're a deck that I really need to trap either. So I'm looking at Leyline, Shieldred, Opposition Agent, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out... Boom. Well, taking out Bowmaster and bringing in Shieldred feels a little silly. Maybe I won't bring in Shieldred. I don't, be, I don't probably don't need Shieldred. Uh, take out Bowmaster, and I'm going to take out Necro, because I shouldn't have time to be doing Necro things, and trim an Opal, and trim a Troll, because a Reanimate Troll probably not very good against the Traxa deck, maybe? Something like that. It's not an exact science yet. Oh, I am not, yeah, let's try that for now. I do think that this uh, blue-black reanimator deck is kind of interesting. I do like the uh, show-and-tell pivot. This hand is just not powerful enough. True, true. They can also reanimate our trolls. That's a fair point, too. This hand is, is just not going to be good enough. It's not really doing disruptive things. It's just casting, like, turn two opposition agent or steal the dispute. Let's just try something better. Let's mulligan this. Uh, so this hand has a ley line, but it has no way to make black mana. So I'm going to mulligan this hand as well. 
And then this hand has a reanimate and it has a time walk. And it, I mean, it has natural Volky for a five card hand. That's probably good enough. So we can go put a, we put an opal and a reanimate on the bottom and go saga soul ring time vault and then untap and go time walk and go for a turn two. Yeah, that's probably going to be the plan. Obviously, our opponent has free reign to kill us with a, a reanimate plan, but I think it's fine. I don't know. I don't have enough time to play all these matches, Chess. You got way more matches than I do. Uh, need more games. I don't have all the answers after one league. All right, we've got a Verdant Pass. Another reason that reanimate is not like, as good, even though my opponent is doing reanimate things, is that uh, they can end of turn in two and then untap and reanimate, and I will never have a chance to use my reanimate. I am liking this one so far. Yeah. So if they do play force and have a force, they're going to have to force this time vault or have a way to win before my time vault, uh, before my saga gets a key and goes infinite. See what happens though. They could probably, you know, pretty easily end of turn a uh, entomb here, untap and reanimate, and that might be good enough. Oh, they didn't have it, so we'll see. Okay, upkeep fetch, sure. Get it out. And then draw, five cards in hand. <laughs> Bizarre Baghdad, all right. So they could bin a creature with this card and reanimate with this one. Could be strong, see what happens. This is like one of the push and pulls of playing a, a, a fair, a quote unquote fair, like a, a bizarre deck, a Baghdad deck that uses lands is that it does take, you know, multiple turns to get a land in play and a bizarre in play. And it's like a really hard deck building challenge to make a deck like this work. So they should have a grief. If they do reanimate grief, I will probably lose this time walk, which extends the game by a turn. But. Yeah, see, see, there's an Ancient Tomb in the side here. They probably brought Ancient Tomb from the side when they brought in Show and Tells to try to pivot around um, Leyline. So yeah, now they're going to grief my Time Walk, which will give uh, another turn. But they still can't answer the core problem of the Saga is going to get a Manifold Key. What I think I'm going to do is just cast this of Opposition Agent on my turn here. And then... Uh, just have them have to beat it. I think having an opposition engine in play is better than, like, getting a soccer token. I don't think that does anything for me. Soccer token doesn't look like it'll matter in this game at all. Uh, I can't imagine the blue-black deck has any real way of combating this other than, like, a needle, um, a chain of vapor or something, maybe. Am I supposed to? Yeah, I would sideboard Leyline. Obviously, they have like a plan to beat Leyline. It doesn't mean Leyline is not good, though. Like, they can't trim all of the reanimate stuff. They're still going to try to get like card advantage with Bazaar. So, like, I still, uh, I don't know their exact deck list, but. Time walk. Okay. I mean, my opponent didn't find anything here, and they're not going to get a good a Bizarre Activation next turn, so this looks pretty doomed for them. Like, if their deck was able to full pivot between using the graveyard and not using the graveyard, then you're playing, you know, a game of cat and mouse or chicken or whatever, uh, where you're, you know... Am I going to bring in the ley lines? Am I not going to bring in the ley lines? Are they going to take out the cards? Are they not going to take out the cards? But the, the opponent can't bring out enough that your ley lines aren't still good against them. So the best thing my opponent can draw probably here is uh, an animate dead or reanimate for Atraxa, and then they have to draw... Uh, I'm not sure, Moxen, uh, Needle or something like that. I guess they can't draw Moxen, you know, Land Needle. Uh, here I can still make a Construct Token and do the stuff. So I'm going to do that. 
They could technically have Hercules Recall, I guess. Uh, but then we have tons of good things happening, so. Okay, they are off it. Sweet. Okay, here we go, round two. We got Chestnut across the table, probably playing a Besiege deck. My hand has Grief, Time Walk, almost Tinker. Definitely a keep. If we Time Walk into a Moxin or a land, we have Tinker with Grief. This is like one of the better hands in the deck, for sure. Any any time you can tinker with some kind of backup is going to be really, really nice for you. Probably going to play this Mox out after this, just so I don't have to get something bad happening to me. Really, really want to hit any of those mana sources. We did not draw the mana source we were looking for here. Um... So we could technically sack the pearl, uh, in which case we might still make it. Because if we sack the pearl and draw two, we get a treasure token. So which any moxin turns on opal. It's like a really hard to make that play though. Maybe we just sack the opal and go for next turn. I guess the thing we can do is grief first to see what opponent has. I think that makes sense, because our main play is going to be Tinker here. Okay, so opponent is on a one ring Besiege the Mirror. This hand has turn one Saga ring. So we actually can wait a turn. Um, I think if we just take... We could even just take the, one, uh, the Soul Ring. And that leaves our opponent pretty far away from casting these four mana cards. Yeah, I'm going to take the Soul Ring, leave them with the rest. And then I, I'm going to Deadly Dispute this Opal now. Like, there's still a, a way we can play Tinker on this turn. And we're guaranteed Tinker next turn, so. Um... So I can play a land this turn with Troll. It's probably better than having a Treasure in play. Why not sack the grief? Holy shit, we can sack the grief? Okay, well, uh, because I've never done that and it didn't cross my head. All right, noted. That would have been much better and I should definitely have done that. Holy shit, wait, I wanna play four deadly disputes in my deck now. I wanna play four deadly disputes in my deck now. Oh my God, it's so good. Why didn't I think of that? I feel dumb now. Who let this guy stream? He doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, we're still going to probably win this game because we are tinkering. But Amateur hour, for sure, for sure. I just didn't even think of that at all. All right, they're dead. They are super, super dead here. This deck wins so easily with Besiege. It's crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, it's a very obvious trick. It's just uh, I haven't really just played the two cards together, and it just didn't occur to me right away. Most of the time... So the, 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 the trick is, for most for most of the time, I've played this Deadly Dispute a lot in Vintage, and almost always I'm sacrificing an artifact. So I kind of just forgot I can sack a creature, and I didn't sack the creature that was ephemeral. So not bad, not bad, not bad. I don't think my opponent kept a very good hand, though. I don't. I think I would have mulliganed my opponent's keep. So we definitely want to bring in Opposition Agent. Though uh, it's worth noting that Opposition Agent is currently not coded correctly on Magic Online with Besiege the Mirror. Um, and it's not exactly Magic Online's fault. So the way the current rules in work and the way the current gathering uh, you know, rules interaction is written... Uh, opposition agent will like you cho cho make you choose the card with the Besiege the Mirror, but the Besiege the Mirror will still pull that card in for its back half. Uh, the the rules person from Wizards actually clarified today that's not how they intend it to work, uh, and it's actually a typo in the rules. So Magic Online coded the rules correctly as they're written, but they're not. The, there's a typo in the rules. So right now the opposition agent we're gonna have to do some funny things against Besiege the Mirror where we like give them a bad card instead of taking their best card and casting it. Just so we know that ahead of time. 
Um, I want Mind Break Traps for sure. They're going to be very good in this matchup. And that's probably it. This was on Twitter today. This was today's recent Twitter uh, stuff that's happening. Don't think I need Bow Masters in this matchup. Uh, probably just trim an opal. I don't, I don't really know what else to do besides trim an opal in these. <laughs> so just trim an opal every time, I guess. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I'm really, really upset with myself that I just missed the Deadly Dispute, my grief interaction. But we'll get there. We'll get there. It's fine. This hand has, unfortunately, if this hand had a grief, this hand would be very good. But without a grief, this hand is just not good enough. Uh, no, you could totally play Mental Mist up and Probe inside of the flex slots. I wouldn't play Probe. I don't think this deck cares about Probe very much. You have Grief. Uh, but I, you could totally play Mental Mist up if you feel like that was good. Instead of Bowmaster, probably. But I kind of want to play four Deadly Disputes now, so. We'll see. I, I, I think that Probe isn't a, like, guarantee auto-include that most people make it out to be. Um, and I think Mist up actually, right now, has kind of a waning portion of the metagame. Uh, however, with the recent changes and, and Beseech being introduced to the format, I actually think Mental Misstep has gotten higher value. But for a while, when, you know, Mono White is 20-25% of the metagame, that deck does not care about a Mental Misstep, so there's, like, some push and pull there. I, I, I don't think you should, like, take it for granted that restricted cards deserve to be in every deck, if even if you can play them in every deck kind of deal. So, that's how I view it. But you could definitely play them. I don't think they're bad by any means. It's just, what do you want to do with your flex slots? Mental Misstep is, like, also a brick on Citadel, right? There's like all these tiny things. So this hand, I can put back a Tendrils and I still have Trap and I have Time Walk Saga. This hand's, I think this hand's good. Not a bad hand at all. But I could definitely see if everyone's playing Dark Rituals that you want to play the Mental Misstep in the deck. In which case, I'll go like three Deadly Dispute, one Mental Misstep maybe. I'm not really... I really don't think the, the Bowmasters are that good. I just want to try them. Yeah, I mean, people love to put each and every one inside of, uh, you know, every deck, but it's not really the case. Like, there are downsides to playing Probe. If you play against, you know, a Hole Breacher or a Bowmaster or you play against Sphere Resistance, like, there's a lot of downsides to playing Probe that you don't really think about. Uh, this is a pretty easy Saga Sapphire Time Walk and then Hold Open Troll pl or uh, Saga Activation. And we actually have a piece of interaction as our, you know, mono black deck, which is really, really nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm not currently playing Twister in this version of the deck. Uh, I don't think it's good enough, but you totally could. But yes, of course, the Bowmaster, you can sack the army to, to bargain. And I think that's like more relevant in Legacy than it is in Vintage, I would say. Unfortunately, my opponent's going to vamp for Tinker here, and then I'm not going to be able to counter it, which is really, really sad, but... Oh! Never mind. Everything is great. If my opponent had access to Tinker here, they should definitely have gone for Tinker, but it looks like they're going to go for Beseech, uh, which I'm going to let resolve until the last spell. A real big downside of Beseech is that you... Are, I mean, well, it's a downside and an upside, right? So, like... The second, the part about Beseech where you are going to put your second spell on the stack can be a, both a good thing and a bad thing. It can be a bad thing for things like Mindbreak Trap and Flusterstorm. Uh, it can be a good thing if you're like playing around, you know, oh, they, they let my Beseech resolve because they had a Flusterstorm, but then I got a One Ring or something like that. Um, there's a lot of, uh, oh, uh, one of the big ones is like if you have an Archon of Emeria and you Beseech with Bargain, you actually can't cast the second spell. Or if opponent has a Teferi out, the static ability of Teferi won't let you cast the second spell. I would say it's most likely more of a downside than an upside most of the time. Uh, but adding to the storm count is like kind of nice. So there's like a lot of there's a lot of weird intricacies there. It's a very interesting card, Beseech the Mirror. There's a lot going on. But yeah, I, I'm kind of of the idea that we might want to add one Mental Misstep and one Deadly Dispute and take out both Bow Masters. I don't think Probe is that good in this deck. I think I would rather play like a Deadly Dispute over a Probe. I think having some like extra action or extra like um, fill, like a uh, draw smoothing, I think could be quite good in this deck. Okay, so here's Beseech sacking Soul Ring. We're going to let the Beseech resolve uh, and see what opponent gets with it. And then we're going to Mind Break Trap whatever they get with it. 
And it's it, this actually ends up being much better for us because this means that they won't actually be able to use this Yogg will in the future. Of course, they can have forcible backup here and then we just die. Yeah, all right. So they have forcible backup here and we just die. So my opponent is going to Yogg will with six storm, replay Lotus, Soul Ring, and then Beseech for tendrils and kill us. I mean, you can play fetches, but I think Vault of Whispers has a lot more utility than a fetch land in specifically this deck. Like, there's no room to play fetches if you're playing Saga and Vaults. You just have no room. My other deck had two fetches in it. My blue-black version did. Well, the card is quite good in Vintage and Legacy, it looks like. That's why. There's also, like, just not very many good cards in this set. Like, if you look at the GOAT bots and you look at the cards in this set, there are just, like, two playables. In the whole set for eternal formats there's like two playables right so it's you know the money has to be concentrated somewhere so it's all concentrated in these two mythic rares can tripping artifacts i mean like theoretically you could play astrolabe but like the big reason to play astrolabe is so you can like maybe try not to play dark ritual but i think just playing dark ritual is better yeah, I'm not really seeing the cauldron, but it looks like a fun card, so. Uh, so Dispute over Night Whisper is the fact that Dispute is actually color fixing for my blue power. Um, instant Speed is really good. Uh, sacrificing a creature. Uh, sacrificing anything for a treasure is not a big deal. Sacrificing an artifact that you can then get back with your Yogwill is also good. I think Dispute works really well on this deck. I don't know what opponent is doing. The other card is called Agatha's Soul Cauldron. Don't really have anything planned for that card in Vintage. We were looking with Senpai at donation decklist with that card, and nothing really would look very good, so. We already came up with a nice ability already today where we, we missed, uh, you can uh, dispute, deadly dispute your grief that you evoked, which seems really good. So I don't know why my opponent vamp tutored, I guess just to make the storm count higher, but they didn't need to do that. They already have enough storm. All right. I'm not going to make my opponent click through that. Unfortunately, they had a force backup for their turn to kill, so I just couldn't couldn't really win. My hand had to be stronger. I wonder if we're supposed to bring in Leyline here. I think they're supposed to bring in Leyline versus us. Our deck is pretty weak to Leyline, I must admit. Damn, how the hell does our deck beat Leyline of the Void? <laughs> I feel like it just doesn't. I guess I have Saga and Vault Key. The problem is, if I bring in Leyline, they just besiege into a Tinker, right? It doesn't really help us. I'm just gonna, just gonna go as is. I think they should definitely bring in Leyline against us, though. Like, I would keep this hand in a heartbeat, and that would just get wrecked by Leyline, right? So I'm going to Grief, Pitching. Hmm. I should pitch this Citadel. See what opponent's hand looks like here. Beseech, Beseech, Jet, Misty, Vamp, Necro. I think this hand stinks. Oh, I'm going to take their Vamp and their Jet, and they're going to be sad. I don't really like the things that... Uh, actually, I could make a Dark Ritual, cycle my Troll, and reanimate both, right? Let's do that. I don't really like the hands that Chess has been keeping today. They're going to top deck uh, Black Lotus on me. You just watch. All right, put nine power in play. Your move opponent. Oh. 
What did they draw? They drew Dark Ritual? I hate little kid luck, man. I hate little kid luck. <laughs> Brutal. I think we're going to lose this game. Hope we draw time walk. Oh, man. my opponent, I left my opponent with absolutely no plays, and they drew the only one of the only cards that gives them plays. Kind of gross. All right, so they draw eight cards. It's not good for the home team. They don't really need much. All they really need is a Dark Ritual and their eight cards and we'll probably just die to Beseech. Beseech, Sac Necropotence, get Yogg will kill me. I think we're very likely to lose this game, actually, which is quite unfortunate. I could have taken Necro over Jet, or but, like, it's not correct. They would have just cast Beseech with sacking Mox Jet. Would not have worked out very well for me. I took their their one castable card and their extra mana, and unfortunately, they top decked out of it. I mean, I think if you like give them this hand with those cards and you play this game 10 times, you win nine games. I, I don't think that's a reason to not play the deck. Opponent top decking the exact card they need is just something that happens in Magic. Of course, they're still out here. Uh, we can draw a time walk. It's a pretty big one. It's probably our only really good one. We draw like Ancestral into Dark Ritual Tendrils, I guess. They did, I think, draw the correct number of cards. This number of cards lets them take the hit and go to two, where they can still force. Did we cut Bowmasters? Uh, yeah, we cut Bowmasters post-board. Don't think Bowmaster is very good against my opponent's deck, which I made, so... <laughs> All right, my opponent pitched Tinker, Shieldred, Saga, Academy. Leaving them with Beseech, Beseech, Five Unknowns. Not a good sign. He is completely useless. Okay, well, it's either my opponent kills me or they don't kill me. And I guess it's up to them to find out. Okay, fetch down to one. Just looking, they're just looking for a dark ritual. Do they have deterministic kill with a dark ritual as it is? Beseech. They have a jet in their yard, so yes. So this is deterministic here. They just go beseech, sacrifice necropotence, get Yogwell, ritual, ritual jet. Maybe I just should bring in ley lines. Maybe you should just bring in ley lines. If my opponent, if I didn't have, if they didn't have a graveyard here, it'd be a lot better for me, right? Hmm. This is very straightforward for the opponent. They just go Dark Ritual, Beseech, Yogwell, Jet, Ritual, Ritual, uh, Beseech, Tendrils. Maybe that's not enough? Is that not enough? Beseech. Oh, I have, yeah, I'm at 10. <laughs> that's super enough. <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's kind of unlucky, I think. I was really, really happy with our starting hand. Nine power, take their two best cards. Very unlucky. Did they just cast Ancestral? Oh, they had a Moxin. Okay, sure. No... I don't really think that's like a, a good way to go about it. What is uh, opponent? You're you're styling on me for no reason. You don't have you know you don't gotta hurt me like this. T 
Tenders on hand is like even easier. It's the same play. Just didn't want to sack the Necro. <laughs> I guess this gives them even more Storm. Truly, truly unfortunate. All right, I'm off it. I don't need them to click through all this. Brutal. Okay, here we go. We're round three now with Beseech Scam. This hand has a turn one Beseech the Mirror. It also has, you know, reanimate troll and stuff. Probably worth keeping this hand. This doesn't have like the best beseeches because I don't think we have any beseeches that will win the game immediately. However, we do have beseech tinker, so because we have Volt as an artifact and Sapphire as an artifact, so we can go all in and sack our whole board, play four mana for tinker on or for play four cards for tinker on turn one. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. If we draw grief, we're actually in a really good spot. Uh, demonic. So I don't know if this is demonic for our combo card or demonic for a force of will. Guess we'll find out. All right, I'd love to draw Grief as my best card. Ruby. All right. We're going to go battling, see what happens. I think we're just going to go Citadeling if we can do it. We're going to sack our whole board for this, but it is what it is. I guess my opponent has Mental Misstep for Dark Ritual. Well, that's really freaking bad for us. It's a compelling reason to have mental misstep in our deck is other person's mental missteps. Now we're actually pretty far away from beseeching as well. Probably have to reanimate. I mean, my opponent's probably going to cast Ancestral or Tinker here, right? With their Demonic Tutor target, I would think. Oh, are they going to Volt Key us? I'm, I am very question mark what my opponent tutored for then. Maybe they tutored for Force of Will and they also had misstep. I'm not exactly sure... Oh, we drew our own Tinker. Okay. Well, we can't beat a Fluster Storm here, but... Is there, like, any way I can beat a Fluster Storm with Reanimate? Not really. All right. Well, I'm going to cast Tinker then. Let's see my opponents. Yeah, so they have Force of Will. So maybe they DT'd for Force of Will, and they had, like, Volt Key, but not enough mana or something. Uh, yeah, I am going to... So we have a win next turn with Besiege, probably. So I don't know if it's, like, actually worth it to cast Reanimate on Troll. It's probably fine. Maybe I don't want to cast Reanimate on Troll in case I draw a Grief. Because then I could just cast the Grief before I Besiege. So this Besiege should definitely be lethal, considering I can Besiege for Besiege for Besiege for Yogwell. Oh, actually, it's not lethal because I don't have a black mana after that. That's kind of crazy. Uh, I, I did draw the grief, by the way. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll cast grief this turn. And then next turn, I can return a, a Vault of Whispers as my black mana from the yard. So I think I'm just going to cast this Grief this turn. Also, this is almost presenting lethal, too. Oh, I guess I have just, like, Beseech for Tendrils, like, natural, right? Pretty soon, as well. Uh, so if my opponent puts a Time Vault on top of their library, they can't win the game this turn. So I'm not even sure this is good. They probably should get, like, an Ancestral. Hmm. I wonder if I missed any kills here. If we vamp, if we beseech... Wait, they're just... They're off it? Interesting. I don't really understand what just happened, to be honest with you, but... Let me just stop and think about last turns. I think we just had a, a lethal beseech with just Tendrils, right? So if we had just attacked with Troll, put them to 11... Our, uh, our storm count is zero. We beseech uh, three times to make our storm count three. And then we tendrils is our... F We're short, right? We need to get more. 
I don't think we have a... I'm trying to figure out like a Beseech Lethal line this turn that maybe I missed, but I don't see one. I'm not seeing it. All right, maybe it's possible there's one there, but I don't know. Um, so my opponent is probably on some kind of Esper Tinker deck. Not sure we even want to bring anything but Opposition Agent. Excuse me. Let's just take out Bowmaster for Opposition Agent and for... Maybe Shieldren? Don't know. So I can't put a Yogwell in the loop on that one because I don't have any way to play black spells out of my yard because I didn't have any black mana, extra black mana. Yeah, I actually like Urza Saga in this deck quite a lot. This hand is a little awkward, but I have a troll to fix it, so pretty good. This is a pretty nice hand. I think that Urza Saga is actually like really nice in this deck as a Beseech target, a bargaining tool. So we are kind of just awkward amount of everything in this hand. I wonder if it's better to play a saga. So what am I really doing with this dark ritual? Nothing. Yeah, I had to play the underground sea to cast my four drop. So I might just play a saga then. Play these out. We'll cycle this troll for an underground sea, and then we have to decide whether we want to what we want to cast and whether we want what we want to play around. Kind of. Nice hand for my opponent. Sapphire Saga Soul Ring, extra island, cast Lorian Reveal, Tinker. Flusterstorm back up. Time walk? Jeez. It's so good. Oh, it's so good. Time walk is a card that makes Ursa Saga a hell of a lot better, as is Sapphire. Sapphire and Time Walk together are like the keys to like making your saga constructs actually fast enough for vintage. I don't think we're dead, for what it's worth. I don't think saga constructs matter very much in this game. It's probably going to be like, does my storm kill get countered, really? But my opponent can maybe get like a a, a, a Sensei's Top. I hope they get like a Needle on Saga. Oh god, am I just getting Natural Volkied too? Okay, well if I'm getting Natural Volkied, I'm getting Natural Volkied. Nothing I can really do about that besides have Grief. Um, but yeah, like the Saga tokens are just like very, very irrelevant. Um, This deck, it's really unfortunate because like these are the kind of decks I would typically play Null Rod in. But this deck cannot play Null Rod for obvious reasons. Main deck graveyard hate looking good against me, yes. Against my opponent, why would it, why I wasn't doing anything against my opponent? I think you should definitely bring in Leyline against my deck that I'm currently displaying for sure. I think the question is actually, should you bring in Le uh, graveyard hate against uh, my blue black version? This is a really another another awkward Urza Saga hand. This is where like Urza Saga Saga is actually worse than any artifact land, which is crazy. Karn is a one-sided Null Rod, but it's a four-mana card. I uh, was not able to play it on my turn one in that game either, right? Didn't have a black mana to Dark Ritual. I think Karn is just like very underwhelming, typically, right now. Unfortunately, this hand has to go back. It just doesn't cast anything. Uh, this one's much better. Don't think we're going to need the Swamp. We'll just put the... We'll just go Ancestral... On their upkeep. Oh, actually, I think I'm going to Ancestral on my turn because I did Mulligan a card and I can like draw Grief, which I think is actually worthwhile. Obviously, this plays into Negation, possibly, but now I have a Grief, which I think is a much better thing to happen for us. I'm just going to get rid of this Necropotence. Shouldn't need that. I just want to, I want to get a Grief down as fast as I can. Oh, uh, I mean, if I could have a hand that looks like this every single game I played Tinker, I fucking would. Fucking would. Jeez. Oh, 
I don't know. I think we're just going to die, unfortunately. Like, I think I, I maybe I have to take Tinker and hope that their ancestral whiffs. But if I don't take Fluster, how do I cast cards? <laughs> I think it's super doomed. What combination, like what card here puts us in the best percentage chance to win? Tinker's the only one that guarantees they win. So I think we just have to take the Tinker and then just deal with the rest of this nonsense, which is going to be very hard to do. If we had uh, Grief reanimate instead of uh, Ancestral, we'd be in a great spot. We would be able to take Ancestral and Tinker and they would leave their hand with nothing. But we also didn't have Grief in our opening hand. We had to Ancestral for it, so... I don't, I don't think we're beating our opponent, chat. All right. Well, the good news is we can draw a reanimate now. We did not draw a reanimate. Probably want to resolve this demonic while their fluster is down. So um, just Saga, Demonic for probably Reanimate. Did I bring in any removal that kills Lavinia? I didn't. I probably should have. No, I'm going to bring in Reanimate because I can't fluster it. I guess at that point they're going to get their own Ancestral anyways. So maybe that's not good enough. Well, demonic to get grief to take ancestral is not going to work out the way you want it to, friend. That is going to end very poorly for you. I think we can actually go time vault and just try to key them out here. Yeah, that's my plan. I'm going to hope this ancestral doesn't draw them a force in time, and then I'm going to play time vault and try to win. That's my plan. You're just going to main phase this Ancestral? Not hold up Flusterstorm? Holy hell. Okay, I guess. <laughs> well, I guess you don't play Saga. Is not playing Saga really what you want here? You're going to play Key, right? You're not going to play Key? I don't know what's going on. We drew the reanimate anyways. That's sick. It's so good. It's incredible. What are they going to do? Fluster it? I mean, they probably have to fluster it. But we pay. Still take their force. They, they hit force and pitched fluster? All right. Vault key. I, I do not like the way my opponent played this game. I, I'm not happy with the way they played, but it looks like maybe they have end of step vamp. Uh, all right, that wins. Awesome. Ah, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. I guess it's just fine. We drew force vamp off of our ancestral. Awesome. Uh, yeah. I guess, okay. I guess so. All right, I guess it's fine. Uh, we were not beating that level of draw. Okay, we're on to round four. Um, had some rough beats this tournament, but we've also had, like, some pretty nice plays, so... 
see if we can't right the ship. This deck feels powerful, but obviously opponents playing Tinker can feel powerful too. This hand's quite good. I really like these cyclers. Troll of Casadoom and um Lorien Revealed. These cards are just so strong. It's cra it's crazy how good these cards are. All right, another blue black deck with Sensei's top. Okay. Uh, so, man, we have serious choices here. If we had a grief, we could go for a kill. By, um,. Maybe we wouldn't have enough for a kill, actually. But we can go for a Necropotence at the least. So what we can do is go all of our mana, Demonic Tutor. I mean, we could just Demonic Tutor for Tinker, actually. That's probably the best line. And then we can just Vamp. Or, so we can just Yagwa on the next turn. That's got to be the best line. To Demonic Tutor for Tinker, we do have to play our Land Drop. But I think that's fine as well. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think I... Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to go Demonic, Tinker, Tinker. And then if I... if I Next turn, I can just rebuy everything if it doesn't work. Though if I get negated, it's kind of unfortunate. But we will still have Demonic in our yard, so it's not that bad. Yeah, I, I think I like Tinker the best here. I'm just going to tinker the opal because if it gets countered and I tinker any of the other cards, then um, the opal's turned off. My opponent doesn't have a force of will. <sighs> so if you don't have a force of will in this situation, you should draw with your top and see if there's a force of will on top. Of course, if you don't have a blue card in your hand or a force of will, then it's doomed. But even then, like it's a tinker with no land drops and versus an unknown deck, you can very easily brick and you're, you can still win with your, your underground sea deck. I don't, I don't know. I really hate when this feels like a very, very early concession. Uh, so my opponent is on an underground C Sensei's top deck. I'm going to at least bring in Opposition Agent and Shieldred, and then if they end up on Beseech, we'll bring in Mindbreak Trap after. I could technically bring in Mindbreak Trap now. It's not the end of the world. Maybe that's fine. It's kind of weird that I keep wanting to bring in Shieldred but take out Bowmaster, but I think Bowmaster is just so low value. I think these Bowmasters are 100% getting cut from the deck. I think the question is, what do you play in the Bowmaster slot? Do you want to play more Deadly Disputes? Do you want to play Mental Misstep? Do you want to play Unmask? It might just be too unmasked, to be perfectly honest, because having more interaction might just be better. I might do that. Well, I, I don't know if like two Unmask is better than a Mental Misstep. I have to consider that. But I think these Bowmasters are definitely getting cut, because I just don't want these cards in my deck. This card is just not very strong. I don't know why. I, I mean, I, I chose it because it like had some synergy with Beseech and black cards, but I think it's just not good. I don't really think I set it up to be good, to be fair. Like, I'm not playing wheels and stuff, but... I mean... There are a lot of, like, mono, blue, splash, other colors decks in Vintage. It's kind of awkward to be not base blue, but... Uh, I mean, the, the most played deck in the format is mono white, so... Yeah, I mean, killing Thalia is not nothing, but, like, if I want to kill Thalia, I might as well play an actual removal spell that kills other things, too, right? I'm just going to trim some cards, and we'll go back with this. I think Thoughtseize is just... I don't know. I think I'd rather play Unmasked than Thoughtseize. This hand is kind of sick because Troll of Kazadoom again. This card is great. This card is so good. Oh, I I mean this these these cyclers are so well. Never mind. Opponent brought in Leyline. All right, this is good. This is our first test against Leyline. I think our deck is really bad against Leyline, and I'm not really sure how to reconcile that. <laughs> uh, this hand is like so good if they don't have a Leyline, and now it's so bad, right? Man, that's crazy. I don't think this deck can really reconcile with the fact that it's bad against Leyline, though. We don't need a third artifact. 
we have a land cycler, mana crypt, land cycler, reanimate. We were just going to reanimate, but now we don't. So now our hand is a lot worse. So Orcs plus Twister. I just don't, like, it's not, it's not actually good versus Leyline. Like, Orcs Twister doesn't automatically win the game, and it gives your opponent a fresh hand. I'm really not a fan of Orcs Twister. I'm just, I just think I'm off of Orcs in general. I just don't think Orcs are very good in Vintage. Uh, the good news is we have an opposition agent for this saga. The bad news is all of our other cards are bad. I guess I should have probably played this Grief Pitching Reanimate first. Are there any other cards I'm excited to brew around? No, none. There's actually zero other cards from the set that I that I think are playable. Okay, so they are on Beseech. So we'll just take the Beseech here because it's their payoff and they have multiple ways to get to their payoff. So we're just going to take Beseech out of their day. So they have Saga and Lands. I'll just cycle this now. What would make me not want to cycle this? I don't know. I want the F6 value. Give me the F6 value. Well, Narset Twister is completely unplayable in our deck, so that's not really worth considering. That card costs blue blue. <laughs> All right, opponent has Black Lotus, opponent has Urza Saga. Okay, so we know our opponent's whole hand. We might not be able to beat these Saga tokens, though. We have uh, Opposition Agent for their Saga trigger, but I don't think that's going to be good enough, unfortunately. Have our own Saga. Uh, I mean, I know my opponent's whole hand. I can just do this now. All right, so I get their card off of Saga, which will also give me the ability to be turning on my Opal. We're probably just going to get a Sensei's top. The problem is, I don't know if we're really beating Constructs here, unfortunately. Well, actually, the fact that... I guess they can just go to their upkeep and use this Lotus to maybe pay for both of them. I wasn't too far off from hard casting troll. I guess that's true. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, hmm. That's actually a consideration. It's pretty close. I mean, these constructs are not that large, and we're stealing their artifact. So it seems like we'll be okay. So this is my opponent's deck. It looks like it's my deck from Twitter from last night. Unless I see something. Is there a watery grave? Okay, so this is just my deck list from Twitter from last night. Um, we can figure out what they drew for turn. Shouldn't I just see what they drew for turn? Oh, I did. I can just see what they drew for turn. It's up here. Oh, they drew a ley line. Awesome. How many ley lines did they bring in? Oh, they only brought in... No, they brought in all four ley lines. I think that makes sense. Dark Ritual, Underground Sea, Ley Line of the Void. And then we're going to just take the Sensei's top for now. And then this is look, this looks good for us because they, I, I guess they have two. So they make three, three, threes. We take three, but then we make our own three, th uh, four, four. Yeah, we're, we're fine here. We're super fine here. Opposition agent beats Saga in this situation just because they don't have enough artifacts. That's crazy. Very cool though. Very cool. I like that. Won all our flips as well, which is, oh, the game is over. I guess I can't use the Sensei's top in the same way because it's my opponent's top and it would go on their library. Uh, I mean, key is fine, but we can get a key with our Saga, right? So we can see their hand while we control Opposition Agent. That's how the card works. Um... So do I still want to tinker them? Do I still want to tinker, I guess? I don't have a ring. All I have is a, a citadel, and I don't know if I need to do that. I'm, like, worried I might kill myself if I do this, whereas I'm, like, pretty winning if I don't. Well, they weren't dead if I got a key. I drew a Tinker. <laughs> There's like two cards in my deck that are that, that win the game if I have a key. And like I said, I can get a key with my Urza Saga. So like I'm going to win next turn with Tinker for, for Vault next turn. So I think it's I think it's fine.
I'm just going to make a construct and pass. I think it's fine. Just hold this up. Opponent can't make another construct anyways. I think like tinkering for a Citadel is just like way too greedy there. And then we get another card and we see their hand again. Oh, they're going to Dark Ritual and make a construct. Very nice play. I like that play. I like that play a lot. It's not good enough, but I like it. Their card they drew for turn is Demonic Tutor. That's not very good against Opposition Agent. I guess there's no reason for us to take this key, considering we're getting our own key, but whatever. Yeah. We get to tinker away our mana crypt and take infinite turns and win the game from there, so... Um, I mean, it just does not matter what we draw. Could even beseech, sack our crypt or whatever. Like everything we do wins the game. So it doesn't matter too much what we choose to do. All roads lead to victory. Okay, here we go. Round five of this Vintage League with our mono black-ish version of Scam Beseech. This hand slaps. Keep. For sure. We got a Grief. We got Deadly Dispute. Making our blue mana for Tinker. We're, we're going to do some stuff. We're going to cast some cards. We have we don't even need to do Deadly Dispute to make blue mana for Tinker because we have the Sicko Troll. This troll, like I think it's the third time I've said it on the stream. This troll is so good. It's so good. Everybody's leading off with some sagas here. What is up with the foil? Must be an all-access pass. Uh-oh. Are we getting jeweled? Jewel is a bad matchup for us, I must say. Because we don't play Nolrod, we have like... Oh, it's Shops. Shops is also not a good thing for us, I would say. Shops is a, is a problem. I don't have cards for Shops in any capacity, really. Um, I think I want to take their last card. I think I'm interested in taking their last card. I don't think we're ever going to win through a sphere with Yogwell, so. I'm going to do that. Yeah, I definitely did not want them casting the one ring. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, I, I still think we are probably going to be behind in this game. Opponent has no cards in hand, but they have an active Saga making like 6-6s six and 7-7s, seven sevens, and they have a Sphere keeping us from combo killing them. We do have uh, the possibility of... That's a Tree of Tails. Excuse me? Okay. What do you do with a Tree of Tails? I don't know. We did miss our land drop here, though. It's quite bad for us. We can't cast any of our two mana spells because of Sphere. Uh, I mean, I think we're definitely in trouble. Even if we get a key off this, we're still pretty far from Volt keying them. Oh, uh, no. Deadly Dispute is not a thing in Vintage, but it's a thing I'm trying to make a thing. I think this card is severely underplayed. I think it's very, very strong. It's just looking for the right deck. I'm trying to find the right deck for this card. I had some, like, decent uh, blue-black Luris decks using it, but this card is really good. Like, don't... This card is very strong. I think it is just missing a deck. The fact that you cast this off of Off-Color Moxon is the reason, um, but, like, two mana draw twos are always considered in Vintage. Yeah, some places, uh, Popper is one of them where it's pretty good. All right, so what did my opponent draw for turn? This is an 8-8. Eight, eight. Holy shit. We don't have more than a turn here. We need to draw... Probably need to draw actual factual... Okay, that's a pretty good draw if they name Manifold Key. If they name Urza Saga, then it's better for us. Hope they name... Yeah, okay, they name Urza Saga. That's good. Though it technically makes it so I can't block next turn if I don't find a blocker, I guess. 
because we could technically get a key and then block. Does a land do it? I don't think a land does it because of the sphere. Uh, I'm not really sure. We're kind of in trouble. Well, the thing is, we, we went over this already, EC Bath. We can sack Grief. We can sack Moxen and bring them back with Yogwo. Um, construct tokens are worse than, than a treasure, for sure. All right, so I, I don't think we can get a key here. We can have as much as six mana, which means we could cast Tinker and not Time Walk. There's like a world where we tinker for a citadel, hit a land, and can cast time walk. If we single if we simply find a creature, we can survive one more turn. But I, I don't think we can get a key. I, I think there's no way to combo. We only have three mana, so there's just not enough. What about Beseech? Is there any Beseech lines? Let's think about Beseech lines. Beseech costs five mana. If we were to get a Black Lotus and Beseech away our jet, the card we cast off Beseech also gets hit by the Sphere Tax, which is super bad. So probably not. We could technically reanimate a creature. That would buy us a turn. No, it wouldn't buy us a turn because we would die to the other construct. We could get a Bowmaster. That will block twice. I think the 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 play is to get a lotus and tinker for a citadel and hope we can make it somewhere. I think that's the play. Now if we hit a land drop, we can time walk. We still have to pay one. Uh-huh. But I think there's like enough things. I, I think it's the best chance we have. So that's not a very good one. But if we hit another Moxen, it's good. Uh, reanimate, like we said, does not save us. So it's pretty bad. All right, there's the land we were looking for. If we had hit this land First, it would have worked. Now we need to hit a mana crypt. I didn't get there. So if like if we hit vault, uh, uh, there's a bunch of ways we could. This could have like gotten us a time walk turn, and then like maybe we can work something from there. A bowmaster off of uh, our, our our citadel would have done it. Um, like a, a beseech right away off the citadel maybe would have done it maybe not anyways i think it was the best chance we had of winning now we, we can't win from here but i think it was worth it yeah the sphere was super good against us I, this deck is not remotely set up to beat uh workshops in any capacity we can win on the play with like uh grief reanimate and stuff like that but we are not set up to beat workshops really it's gonna be very hard for us um, probably want, so on the play, we want different things than we want on the draw. Cause on the draw, we want like creatures and like take out, tink uh, take out some, maybe not take out Tinker, but like, uh, like we'd want mind break traps, but on the play, we just want to murder them as fast as possible. Don't think we want remove. We still don't even know what type of shop deck they're on. They didn't really show us anything besides they did show us a vault, uh, a green vault for some reason. Don't know what that is. Probably want a Sphinx though. Let's put Sphinx, Sphinx and Shieldreds in. And then if we get to game three, we'll bring in traps, of course. But yeah, I mean, uh, sphere-based workshops have pretty much fallen out of favor in Vintage. So this hand goes Vault, Emerald, Ritual to four, demonic for lotus, lotus will, lotus ritual, demonic. T 
four. Lotus. Uh, this plays turn one Tinker, I believe. I don't think there's a storm kill here, but I'm pretty sure this plays turn one Tinker. Wonder if I can find a storm kill. We can get two beseeches. It might be close to a storm kill. I guess we'll figure it out along the way. Well, one, one, two, three lotus, four yogwell, five ritual, lotus six, ritual seven, demonic eight. I don't know how much mana I have after that. I mean, I yes, I know I'm tutoring for lotus. That was the first thing I said. That's the only thing we can tutor for that's good. <laughs> the question is going to be... Do we make blue mana? I guess I can make blue mana on the second one. If I need to, if I don't make the storm count high enough. Oh, they had Mind Break Trap the whole fucking time. It's doomed, man. It's fucking doomed. Oh, okay. It's fine. Uh, I'm going to hold that, I think. Uh, no, I'm going to cycle it. I'm not playing around Mind Break Trap out of my shop's opponent. Like, if they have it, they have it. It's fine. I have to, like, go in on in turn one before I get speared. Can I have enough black mana? So I had uh, two black mana left over. I get black mana. I get dark ritual. I demonic. I play ch besiege, besiege, tendrils. Yeah, it's just a very clean combo kill. Why do they have hardened scales besiege you? Okay. All right, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I, we were going to get there. Like, it was pretty straightforward once we once we got there. It was a, it was a turn one tendril storm kill. I think we'll win this game with Urza Saga because my opponent played their Besage you so they could play Hardened Scales, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, the fact that we went all in, got trapped, and we're going to just easily win this game with Saga is something. I can't Saga yet, Justin. That's not how this card works. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I'm excited. I mean, I'm, I'm always down to see a brew. I was confused by the Tree of Tales in game one. That was the first thing that was confusing. My opponent's the good guy after we get trapped? Come on. Uh, I shouldn't have made this now. My opponent is turning on Metalcraft, I guess. It's fine. It's whatever. I just want to F6. <laughs> they got double the hardened scales patchwork com combination here. You think we're going to be good enough? I don't know. I don't know. We might we might not we might not have it. I think we're just gonna get a um a key. I guess we can get a key second. Just get a soul ring. Just get a top. Just get a blue source. I have a blue source. Let's get a soul ring, it's fine. I think we're just going to attack with Saga Tokens. I should not have hit F2 again. And it's probably enough. Or is the Saga a good card, huh, chat? I've been saying it the whole time! <laughs> oh, man. If I die to dress down, then my opponent is the hero. And I am, and I am, they are the good, the good one, <laughs> for sure. All right, I'm going to bring in Mind Break Traps of my own here, and then I'm going to probably take out cards that are pretty bad into spheres, but I don't know what those cards are, to be honest with you. I might bring in a portal, too. Maybe I'll bring in a portal, and I'll cut Citadel, because I have no way of getting rid of a sphere anyways. 
and then I'll cut tendrils. I don't, I don't really want to cut tendrils. Yeah, I'll cut tendrils. I'll, I'm off it. I'm off it. I'm going to cut tendrils and I'm going to cut Yagwell. We're no longer playing Storm. We boarded out of Storm. Maybe I should have run a needle. Yeah, I probably should have run a needle. Uh, is this hand good enough? Is this hand good enough? Anyone know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this one. Let's try it. I'm down. Yeah, we know, Mark. We were... We, we know. That was last game, turn one. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's just streaming. It's just streaming, Justin. What could go wrong? I don't think this... I don't think this hand wins, chat. I think... I think I'm wrong. I think I'm wrong. I don't think this hand wins. <laughs> Uh, this hand's actually fine through a sphere, but it's not fine through like, oh my god, it's an Arcbound Ravager in the year of our Lord, 2023. <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay, it's okay, we'll be fine. I don't believe the shield is going to be good enough here, but, you know, it's fine. Maybe we'll draw Volki. Maybe we'll draw Volki. It's fine. Everyone else draws Volki. I can draw Volki, too. Patchwork. Where's the hardened scales opponent? How are you going to make huge creatures without hardened scales? I don't know if I would play patchwork here. It requires me to sack Lotus to make construct tokens, doesn't it? I'm so dead, chat. I'm unbelievably dead. <laughs> I'm so gone. Everything is doomed. All right, well, land lets me play Shieldred Time Walk. Hold up. Wait a minute. What's that do? That wins us the game, right? If we don't get needled. So if we were to go Time Walk. No, that doesn't do it. If we were to go Beseech is five total mana. Shit. So maybe mm, we can just tinker a, 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 a sphinx or a portal. Well, Beseech costs five mana to cast and then one mana to cast your second spell. It's too soon to get a portal, though, right? We're not going to win the game with a portal from here. What if we wait? What if we wait? What if we just play a key and pass? Will we die? Maybe we die? Could grief them? Yeah. Yeah, we could grief them. I don't know. I, I, what if we just play, if we play a key 
and we pass, we do need to still draw a land to win with Time Vaults. I mean, I think we can die. That's why I'm worried. That's why I'm worried. How do we beat that? Why why does my fucking aggro shop's opponent have a goddamn besave you in their deck? This is stupid. <laughs> Bring back my children. I want my children back. <laughs> We're so doomed, man. Now the Sphinx doesn't work, and the portal doesn't work. Because they just have besieged you for some reason. It's lost. We can get a Necro, but then we're going to die to creatures. I think it's just lost. I don't know what we do from here. I think we play the key and hope they tap out or something. F6, go. I mean, they're going to have four creatures and an Arcbound Ravager to like sack everything onto one thing. I guess they can't sacrifice everything onto one thing. I guess they can sacrifice all their lands onto one thing. Oh, we're just doing it? What are we hitting? Key down. It's bad for the home team chat, in case you were keeping track. So, can we win with a Besage? We can, might be able to win with a Sphinx. Well, Sphinx is pretty bad against Arcbound Ravager. Maybe we can still win with a Portal. Is Portal going to be enough, though? Like, is, is Portal going to be enough here? They can just keep a Construct and kill me, right? Maybe it shrinks them enough. We get a time walk extra buy, but we can't time walk and beseech in the same turn. What are we going to needle? I kind of thought opponent would go for Lotus too. Manifold key has been named. They're scared. They're real scurred. All right, they found an artifact land. So we're taking 11. So if they sack these three to the portal, then one goes on here and it loses three so it goes down to six and up to seven so i think a portal does let us live at one if they don't draw an artifact that's not a really a good thing though dark ritual adds an additional one mana we cut out the yog will and the tendrils but we have a, a sphinx isn't good enough can we Ritual, Beseech, Tinker, and Time Walk? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This costs five, six, and this costs three, so I'm one mana short. Let's just do that one more time. One, two, three, four, seven. This costs two, so this goes up to eight. Beseech down to three, Tinker down to two, and Time Walk to one uh, to negative one. So that doesn't do it. That's my only play, though. My only play is just to Beseech then. So... Two, three, four, five. Beseech with Bargain on Ruby... My opponent has to not top deck an artifact, which doesn't seem possible. I guess they could draw a Besage you. Um, don't hit the portal yet. 
All right. Uh, Tinker. Cast Tinker. Maybe they'll mess up. Maybe they'll sack some things or something. Oh, an uncastable card. True, true. Maybe they'll sack some mana. Like every everything they sack doesn't actually help them because it makes the construct smaller, right? So, and if they ever sack a creature, they're doomed. So maybe they'll mess up here. We're currently not dead on board, but we're very close to dead on board because they have a seven seven, and we have eight life, and they have all artifacts in their deck, including lands. Like they, they can draw an Urza Saga. An Urza Saga doesn't kill us here. We do need them to miss on this top deck somehow. Like in one ring. A workshop. This doesn't look good for the home team here. So it's a work it's a it's a walking ballista, it looks like. Did I have the option to portal last turn? I did, but then they would just make a thing. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? Wait, wait, what? They, 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 they don't have it. They don't have it. They don't have it. It's a ring. It's a pump fake. We're playing. We're gaming. Oh, I'm going to take it out of their hand, too. Should I take it out of their hand or should I get uh, one of their creatures? I should just take it out of their hand. Better it's a ring. It's a ring. Let's go. That's the best thing that could have happened, probably. And we drew a time walk, so we get extra turns. Oh, it's so good for us. Wait, wait, is this game winnable? Is this game winnable? It's looking a little looking a little winnable here. Definitely need to get an attack in. If this goes back in the yard, I can just get it back forever, right? My opponent has to like wait it out, right? Or something. How does it how do they what do they do? How do they win? Guess my opponent can draw like a ballista here. I guess I would just die to that anyways, so that one. This is just infinite patchwork automatons, right? Okay, it is in fact infinite patchwork automatons. Look at that, grow the patchwork automaton. <laughs> I think I'm just going to hit with this menace creature. My opponent has a mana crypt in play. Eventually they'll lose a flip, right? They've lost one flip this game. Maybe they'll lose a second flip. No, of course not. Who would do that? Not me. Uh-oh, what'd they draw? What'd they draw? What'd they draw? What'd they draw? Okay, Jet. Whew. That's not. That's nothing. Maybe I should be blocking with Grief so I can Grief them every turn. But this is on Menace, so it's kind of nice to not. Man, this portal to Phyrexia, huh? Hell of a drug. Okay, beseech the mirror. Should the, uh, to avoid beseech you, maybe. The problem is I can't attack with this because it's summoning sick, right? And I'm trying to clock my opponent who has an active mana crypt. Like I think I'm attacking with the correct one. I think I have to dark ritual here to cast the second spell off of Beseech, as long as it's a non-creature, which it probably is, because I boarded out my or I already exiled my shieldred. I can't get Sphinx now because my Tinker is in my yard. So no go on the Sphinx. I guess I could technically tutor for Sphinx and then cast Sphinx. With if I had a white source, I don't have a white source. So I think what I'll do is I'll dark ritual. And I will cast Beseech the Mirror. I don't have Tendrils in my deck. Uh, I could just put another Grief in play.
then I didn't actually have to to dark ritual like an idiot, but I could just get a saga and play a saga. That might just be the best play, right? I like grief. <laughs> yeah, I drew another ring. They won the crypt flip. <laughs> they won a lot of crypt flips in this game. Gaia's cradle? Opponent, you're so spicy. I guess we'll play around another beside you. I don't want to ask them for the list. Chat's going to make me play it. I don't want that in my life. Oh, wait. No, I don't have a lethal if I do it this way. All right. This was not my best line. Never mind. It's my best line. What can I say? Look at that. Boom. Crip flip for lethal. Get him. Well, the whole point was to play around besiege you. They won the crypt flip again. <laughs> that was a funny league. I will be going to Buffalo Chicken Dip. It'll be fun. I think everyone should go to Buffalo Chicken Dip. Full proxy vintage tournament happening the end of September in Ohio. Full proxy event. You can play without ever owning a vintage deck. Full proxy, big prizes at a brewery, lunches included. It's going to be a great time. All right. As for this deck, um, I like it. We're going to make some changes. We're going to cut these Bowmasters. They were not good. And then we're going to add Deadly Dispute and Mental Misstep, I think. Or do we want to un add Unmask? I really like Deadly Dispute, but it could just be... The Justin talking. Mm, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I think this deck wants mental misstep, though. Uh, maybe it should just be unmask. So you have more turn one kills. It probably should just be unmask. Let's play unmask. I still want to play deadly dispute, though. Though Unmask is like pretty bad with our Citadel. <laughs> yeah, we play we're playing a Yogwill based combo deck. <laughs> Guess we'll just play Unmask. Guess we can't fit in this deadly dispute then. So what's our 60th card? Maybe we just play the main deck Shieldred or Karn or something. Mm, I like the idea of having a Shieldred. Don't know if it's actually good, though. I know what I was playing in these lists to start. I was playing Chromatic Star. Oh, wait, we should probably play, like, a removal spell. Is there, like, a really nice removal spell? Or, like, um, a creature removal spell that's good? Or No, I, I don't think this is a one-ring deck. I think this is a bad one-ring deck. Mm. Yeah, I mean, you could do, like, a turn one shieldred against, like, Jewel, maybe. I don't know. I, I, I didn't really find, a, like, compelling use, but shieldred is kind of nice with Sensei's top and Citadel sometimes. Yeah, I mean, we have the real deal. The real wheel. The real will? Try it. I kind of want a removal spell that kills like Lavinia's and stuff. What's like the best removal spell that doesn't stink? 
I don't want to play like just a straight up removal spell though, because I feel like playing a removal spell is so bad when it doesn't hit anything. Like if it's just a blank, you know? So many matchups where removal spell is a blank. I think Fatal Push is terrible. I think the reason that Dress Down is so sick is because it's not a removal spell, even though it is a removal spell. Like, is there any black cantripping removal spells or. Like, what about like even like a ravenous chubacabra or something? I don't know. I guess I can just search black cards, huh? Well, our deck is not a very good snuff out deck. I would not recommend playing snuff out in this deck. Sphere of Annihilation. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll just uh, I'll let it go for now. But I think I'm going to make those changes. I think those Bowmasters are bad. I mean, maybe I'll just put the Deadly Dispute back in the deck. I don't I don't think the Deadly Dispute was bad by any means. Um, but I do think an Unmask will serve the purpose of what we're trying to do slightly better. So. This deck is sweet. Beseech the Mirror is sweet. Powerful magic cards being introduced to Vintage every set. More videos like this on my channel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday on YouTube. I will see you then.